Okay, now we're gonna learn how to create a sparkle effect in Photoshop. So let's start a new document. Let's keep it a web document and let's fill it with black. All right, now there's plenty of ways to do this as well. So, you know, kind of use your creativity. I'm just gonna make a real kind of basic one. I've got the, uh, polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to draw like a half triangle and I'm going to fill that in with white start a new layer fill that with white now I'm going to duplicate that layer and shrimp, uh, spin it by going to flip horizontal and I'm going to match it up so I have a nice even triangle. Now let's uh, merge those two layers together and I'm going to duplicate it again. Go to edit, transform, flip vertical. I'm going to drop that down, match it up the bottom. I'm going to merge those two together. I'm going to duplicate that one more time. And spin it, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So you got should have a nice looking star. So uh, I might even uh, go transform the middle part, hold down shift so it doesn't warp as you move it in. And apply it. Let's get that in like that. Now I'm going to hold shift down and click on the other layer. Let's merge those layers together. Let's go to Gaussian Blur. Actually, before we do that, let's uh, duplicate that layer one more time. And now we'll go to Gaussian Blur. Let's you know, knock it out a bit like that. All right. Let's Select both those layers, hold down shift again, merge layers one more time, go to edit, let's transform it. Yeah, you can shrink it down. So let's say we have some text in here. I'm going to go to transform, let's get that nice and big. Apply. Uh, we want this uh, text to kind of have a glow to it, so let's duplicate that layer again with your uh, sparkle on it. We're going to Gaussian blur it some more. Now the original one, maybe drop down. Shrink it a little bit more. All right, now we want to you know, duplicate it a couple more times. Uh, try and get a nice kind of and you know, blur them up a bit more, and eventually, you know, just play with it until you like what you see. If you want to add, you know, some yellow into it or whatever, you can do that. But that's a very uh, simple way to do a, a sparkle in uh, Photoshop.